You're watching the ACC on ESPN. Shashevskyville outside, craziness inside. Historic Cameron Indoor Stadium where Virginia and Duke meet for the only time in the regular season this year with the ACC tournament in the postseason fast approaching. The last time these two teams took the floor at Cameron, it was Reese Beekman's three-pointer in the dying seconds that gave Virginia a win. In the next meeting, though, Kyle Filipowski's 20-point game led Duke to the ACC Tournament Championship. Two of the top three teams in the ACC this year, only behind North Carolina, which will come to this building one week from today. This is a heck of an appetizer course before that feast. Good evening. Welcome to Cameron. Kevin Brown, John Crispin, delighted to be with you. It is always a joy when yep. Virginia and Duke get together. The last five years, these two programs have been the class of the ACC, and it's an extra joy when it happens in this building. Look, we could talk about players and maybe set up some of the game, but the reality is you've got to deal with everything else. This is Duke in Cameron in March. Oh, boy, right? And because of all these things, right, because of the atmosphere, the environment, that unmissable and irrefutable aura surrounding the program, it's not just about playmaking. It's not just about your scheme and your execution. It really comes down to having the considerable poise required to be able to manage the things that you feel. And look, we feel it, too, as broadcasters. We feel what players are going to feel. I think this Duke program, their fan base, they take great pride in their greatness. They're not going to be comfortable coming in here if you're UVA. But if there's one guy that gets it, it's Reese Beekman. Last time out, game winner. He's the only one on the UVA roster that has ever played here. Going to need poise and a solid start for Tony Bennett to feel comfortable. They open this building in 1940, a 36-27 win over Princeton. 1,133 games later, it is Virginia and Duke on the second day of March. 